Hey guys, so another order of mine has arrived and I want to do just a little unboxing um, whilst I've got it. <laughs> um, so I bought these from two different companies. Um, I can't remember what company I got this one from, but I will put it up on the screen now. Um, and then this parcel is from Pulp Addiction, which is based in Victoria in Australia. Um, so I'm gonna jump straight into this Kaweco unboxing. Now, I did an order with this and it, I, I chose two pens and one was the student um, jazz pen, the brown one. And then this one took a little while to come to me because I don't think it was in stock. Um, so that's this one. And then I also just got like an additional little clip to go on this pen. So let's just jump straight into this and open it up. So I got, this is a chocolate brown Kaweco. It's just one of the plastic ones. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the feeling of the plastic in my hands, but this one I think is quite beautiful. I love the color. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna open this and put this on. Have a little complete set. Oh, that looks so much better. So this is just a chocolate brown Kaweco. I'll put the proper name on the screen. Um, and I got it in the extra fine nib. And yeah, just super basic, but you know, I love my browns obviously and golds. So thought this would be good for like, if I'm on the go and whatnot, and I do want to take one of my expensive pens out. So that's why I grabbed this. I've got the macchiato one as well. Um, so very excited about that. And then this one, I got <laughs> two more pens and a bunch of sample inks. I also got, I'll just remove this. I think that has my address on. I also have this little squirter. I need to get one of the syringes um, so I can, you know, transfer ink safely and not get it all over the place. Um, but that's one of my next purchases I think I will, you know, be getting. Um, so I just got this just to play around with these inks and I got a couple of converters as well. Now I do have another pen arriving. <laughs> I've got another pen arriving and you're going to know what brand it is by what converter I got. So this is just a little Kaweco one. I thought this would just come in handy. I don't, honestly, I don't even, there we go. You know, it's absolutely tiny, but I thought that'd be good for the Kaweco pen. Um, this one is a Pelican converter. So, spoiler alert, that's my next pen that I will be getting. <laughs> that shouldn't be too far away. So I got that just so I can play with all of these new inks as well. I'm not sure if the Pelican comes with a converter, so I just wanted to get this just in case. And then this is just, um, I think this is... Oh yeah, this is a Lamy converter. So that's for this one. Um, and then I'll go through the inks in a second. Let me just move this over to the side. So this looks something like something so medical and gross. <laughs> um, so let me just move this back here. And we're gonna start with the Lamy. So I decided not to go with the gift packaging option, you know, for the environment and whatnot. So it's just come in this little cardboard box. You know, it's not as, you know, exciting as I think if I went with the gift um, box option, but it's just the cream Lamy. I've got my brown one here and I do love this. I love the finish to this. This is gorgeous. I can't remember the exact name for this one either. My brain is just like completely um, blipping right now, but I love this for when I'm practicing my calligraphy and I love the size. The nib is quite big though compared to my others, but I do really like the Lamy as well. So I thought, why not get the cream one? Because I am obsessed with beiges, browns, you know, all the neutral colors. Um, this one has a bit more of a matte texture to it. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's just a divider. Okay, so that must have been preventing um, the cartilage from inserting. Now, I don't like these blue inks. I'm, I don't, I'm not a blue ink person, so I will not be using that. Um, let me pop that just back on so it doesn't pierce. 
but I was expecting this to be a little bit more cream. It's kind of yellowy. Uh, it's still beautiful though. I do love it, but I was expecting a bit more of a softer cream color, but I think it is still so gorgeous. Don't know if you can tell, love my creams. So very happy with that. So I bought this to be able to play with all these ink samples as well that I've purchased because now that I'm down the rabbit hole, best believe I want to play around with different types of inks and whatnot. So hence all the converters. And this one is one of the new releases of the Twisby. This is my first Twisby. Um, and this is the Eco Rose Gold Cream one. Um, I really should know the name of it. Hang on. The Twisby Eco Cream with Rose Gold Trim. Um, and I originally had purchased this in an extra fine, but then I decided to go with a fine because of the shimmer inks that I've purchased. So I'm sure everyone's seen these all over YouTube and Instagram already. Uh, I don't know what that is. No alcohol. Okay, got it. Um, I have no idea what these tools are. <laughs> so I need to do a little bit of reading of the instructions. Um, honestly, I've never... Silicone grease. Okay. All right. So I've never... Like I said, I've never had a Twisby before, so this is my first Twisby. So I'm just going to move this over to the side. And it is also a cream colour. These two colours are very similar. This one's a little bit more yellow, but it is absolutely gorgeous. The rose gold is quite beautiful. So I'm very happy. I'm excited to have like an exposed window um, to be able to see the color in here so I think I'm gonna put a shimmer ink in this one so I'm hoping the fine is okay um, for shimmer inks I don't know if you can see that very beautiful nib now it doesn't actually have the letter F on the nib um, which is quite interesting to me I think Sorry, you're completely out of frame. Um, but yeah, very beautiful. So I'm excited to play with this. And I will jump straight into... I'll move that one out of the way because that's my old one. I'm going to jump into all of the ink samples. So... I love the little Ziploc bag they put it in. I'm surprised these didn't come with like containers or anything or like a little packaging, but I prefer that over all the extra packaging that's literally just going to get thrown away in the bin anyway. Hi baby. Sorry, my little doggies come over to say hello. No, don't jump up. No, not right now. Um, okay, so let's start from left to right. So I got the Robert Oyster Glistening Orange Rumble and this is a shimmer ink. I don't know if you can see that. That is so gorgeous. So I'm very excited to try that. Two mil is actually quite a lot. That's going to take me a while to get through, I think, considering I have so many samples. Um, this one is Van Diamond's Ink Leatherwood Honey Tasmanian Series. And this is like a brown. I think it'll be better when I get my ink book out. Um, this one is Robert Oyster's Ink Aussie Brown. I love my brown colors. <laughs> so having a variation of that is getting me excited. Um, Robert Oyster Burned Orange. So you really can't see in these containers. Um, this is Van Diamond's Ink Huon Midwinter Festival, the Tassie series. So this has so much glitter in. Oh my god, the photo of this looked insane. So I'm very excited to try that. And Robert Oyster's Ink Eucalyptus Leaf. Another green, because I love my greens. I thought that would look amazing in my Sailor Manu Nut pen after I actually finish using what I currently inked it up with. Um, and then the Robert Oyster Ink Cherry Blossom. So I'm very excited about those. I might even, 
see I don't really have anything to swatch these with so I think this is just going to be part one until I actually get my swatching tools and then I'm going to continue filming this video because right now I can't like I really don't have the tools needed to be able to swatch these other than a q-tip and I don't want to be using a q-tip oh you know what I completely forgot I actually have all right so I'm back <laughs> I'm going to use my uh, Hon Botanical uh, 2024 um, diary for this so this I'm going to be using mostly as like ink swatching and whatnot um, so I think I'm just going to jump to I might even because I don't want to do it on this page I might just do it on the January page um, I've got this uh, dip pen in the medium nib so I completely forgot I purchased this because I didn't have it with all my other journaling stuff um, so I'm going to use this to do some ink swatches I might even just jump onto one of the pages and just jump straight onto the January 1st I'm going to go get a clip but I don't make a mess so I've got a little jar of water here I might move this over and I might just shuffle everything out of, of the way um, so I really want to test these inks all right, I've got my paper towels on hand. I really should have a rag, but you know, whatevs. All right, so we are going to start with the, the, Robert, the Robert Oyster ink in Cherry Blossom. Oh my God, I'm not putting this down because I'm so going to drop it. Oh my goodness, this is going to get so messy. That is a beautiful color though. I'm so scared. This is gonna get so messy so quickly. All right. That is gorgeous. Alright. I really want the Kakimori um, dip pen uh, where you buy the, the actual handle and then the brass nib by itself. So I really want to get that because I have just seen so many good reviews on that. So that is the Robert Oyster Cherry Blossom ink. That is so beautiful. The colors are insane. I'm definitely not like much of a red or pink person, um, unless of course I can get my hands on the Louis Vuitton Paul Mahina cover. If anyone knows of anyone selling one, I am dying for that cover. I do love my um, my Nomad one, but I am totally obsessed with that Mahina one. Um, so we're just going to jump into the next in ink swatch, which is the Van Diamonds ink Hoon Midwinter Festival Tazzy series. Now I've just like dipped that into the water and then dried it off. I'm trying so hard not to get it around the handle, but that's going to happen regardless, I think. All right. Oh, love this color. That is beautiful.
Oh, I'm so excited for this color. This is, you can already see the colors. Oh, this is insane. Yeah, I definitely want that brass in it because I've just run out of ink there. Um, love that color. I'm gonna wait until they all dry so I can show you properly. So I'm gonna move that one over to the side as well. Now we'll go on to the Leatherwood Honey from Van Diamond's ink. Oh, I really shouldn't have tipped that upside down. Look at me not have, having spilt any yet, but I've just probably jinxed myself. All right. Oh, got nothing on the, oh, I got a little speck. All right, oh, jokes. Oh, this is a beautiful color, okay. This is such a beautiful honey color. So this is Leatherwood Honey. This is beautiful. Still a little bit on the nib, actually. Oh, this is gorgeous. Love that color. Well, now I'm excited to ink up all my other pens. <laughs> all right, that was a beautiful color. Next is Robert Oyster Glistening Orange Rumble. Oh, it's Robert Oster, guys, not Oyster. <laughs> So funny. Glistening orange rumble. Not a huge fan of orange. But this is beautiful. All the colors complement each other so beautifully. Love that, that is gorgeous. That is so satisfying watching the ink go everywhere. Now, I don't, I'm, sh I'm sure it's fine just washing that in there, but if I'm doing it wrong, let me know. Cause I'd rather know now than later on. Um, I probably should clean that out soon, but that's all right. I don't mind a little bit of color. Robert Oster, Burned orange. I'm running out of room here. I might jump over onto the next page. Oh, I love this color. This is gorgeous. Definitely looks like a burnt orange. This is gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. Oh, I've, did I get it all? Oh, no, thank God. I thought I got it all over my fingers then. Woohoo! All right. Two more left. I might get keep getting more samples because like I it's gonna take me forever just to get through a two mil sample. So I can't I think that's such a good idea for me. 
especially because I'm a newbie I don't need full bottles although I do have an order coming and it is a full bottle um, well a couple of full bottles actually the deal was just way too good but I'll save those for a separate video like telling you more about that um, now this is the Robert Oster Aussie Brown because I'm Australian had to get this sample this is gorgeous if there's um, any other brands I should try, let me know. I literally just go off the photo of the ink in the website. So um, I'm a visual person, so if it looks really nice in the photo, best believe they're the ones I'm going to choose. This is such a gorgeous color. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this one. Oh, wow. Okay, we ran out now. I definitely think the other swatching pen will be better. The Kikimori one that everyone raves about. I definitely think I need that in my life. So that was Aussie, ba Aussie Brown, sorry. No, I speak English, I am terrible today. No brain. There's nothing going on in my brain right now. Honestly, it's been the longest week and it's literally Thursday. And I've got, I'm shooting a wedding on Saturday and I have to edit all day today and all day tomorrow. And I think I might even have a shoot on Sunday. Um, so in between, you know, working on Static Paper Co, I am non-stop with my other business. So there's no downtime for me really. I really should be editing right now, but I am not not going to play with these <laughs> inks. I have waited long enough for them to arrive and I need some me time and this is my me time. I'm just playing with inks and fountain pens. So, And another Robert Oster ink. I wonder why I only really lent to... Maybe the photos were the best of these. So that's why I decided to... Um, pick up mostly Robert Oster uh, and this is Eucalyptus I always butcher the spelling on this and leaf my dog is facing me lying down waiting for me to not only give her the bone that I have on the tabletop ready for her and also to go for W-A-L-K. I cannot say that word. Otherwise she will go absolutely wild with excitement. So I will spell it out for you. W-A-L-K, that's what she wants to do right now. And I've been gone all morning, so she expects me to take her out now. Um, oh. oh, it's wind, okay. Um, so those are all of the inks I have um, samples of and I'm just going to flip to the other page. I hope that was dry. Oh, yeah. All right. So I do love. I love the cherry blossom. I probably I'm not a huge fan of bright colors um, like the glistening orange rumble. Um, I would definitely use this for more fun things, but I'm definitely leaning towards the leather wood honey, the grown midwater midwinter festival sorry um burned orange see i love that that's a little bit darker but it's still i much prefer the aussie browns and the eucalyptus colors i i definitely lean more towards those colors when it comes to you know the visual aspect of it but the way they are drying they are all so gorgeous i don't even know if you can see properly but yeah very happy with those I might as well just um, dip test these in some of the inks as well. So I'll just flip to a new page. Now what am I doing? Oh my goodness. Which one do we want to do? I might try. We'll go with the Aussie Brown because I love Aussie Brown. All right. So this is the fine, no, this one's extra fine. 
is it? Yeah, Lamy Extra Fine. So let's do a little dip. Oh, that was a lot. Oh yeah, I'm glad I got the, the extra fine because my brown one is a fine. Very smooth rider. I do really like this pen. I love the where the fingers are, the grips there. What else? Um, very happy with that. Let me. I'm going to dip that in the water. I don't know if that was... Well, you have to flush them out anyway when you... I'm going to have to give those proper washes now. Because there's definitely still ink in the, in the nib. That's right. I'll do that after. So, I want to quickly dip this one as well. The Twisby. Dip the very tip in this one. And that is in the fine. The Lamy Extra Fine and the Twisby Fine are very similar. See, I would, this is quite fine. So the Extra Fine and the Fine are quite similar. Hey, Maya. My dog's just jumping up on my lap right now. Very smooth as well. I do really like this pen. That's so nice. All right, gotta wash that one as well. Hi, baby. Really happy with those two. Sorry, I'm, I'm focusing so much on what I'm writing that I'm not really paying much attention to you guys. Um, and also trying not to make a mess. Maya, it's okay, baby. She's jumping up on my leg right now because she wants to go out. And she wants the meat stick that's up on the counter, don't you? Just let me finish this baby and then I'll give it to you. It should be defrosted by then. Um, now, I can't remember what this one is called specifically. Um, let me just get my... It's okay, just wait. All right, guys. <laughs> I just had to have a look. Um, so this is just the, the Queco Sport Classic um, in chocolate brown. Honestly, when you buy so many pens in such a short period all the names kind of blend in together um and i got this in extra fine so see this one's so much more fine than the lamy safari extra fine classic um Just dip it again. I'm really playing with fire having um, my Louis Vuitton right next to the ink. Let me just move that. I probably just jinxed myself to be honest. Um, all right. I need to get one of the little sample hold holders so I don't knock anything over. Yeah, this definitely feels like an extra fine, more so than the Lamy. But obviously different um, company nibs and like parts of the world. Wow, my brain is not working today. <laughs> um, so I do really love the Queco. I do love an extra fine nib, honestly. Totally obsessed. Chocolate brown, extra fine, all right. 
definitely gonna put this Aussie brown in this Cueco because that is gorgeous. All right. I am very happy with these purchases. Uh, I'm very, very excited to play around with all of these inks and pick and choose which ink I'm gonna use in different pens. Um, but yeah, so I'll just show you a little close up of that. So the Lamy Safari Cream Extra Fine, Twisby Eco Cream in Fine Nib, and then the Cueco Classic in Extra Fine. So these two are very similar, and then this one's definitely an Extra Fine. Um, and I definitely prefer the Cueco Extra Fine. But these still write beautifully. I love how you get a little bit more ink in the Lamy because um, it, it's a little bit more of a wetter writer. Um, and then the Cueco is a bit more, you know, less ink on the page. Twisby, wow, I spelled that wrong, <laughs> is also very beautiful. So that's all for today, guys. Um, I had a lot of fun playing with these inks and I'm definitely gonna be ordering more samples because it lets you really experiment with different colors without buying the whole bottle. So I love that companies are offering that um, and being like, you know, li letting us experiment with colors and whatnot. So I'm very happy with those. Um, but yeah, that's all for today, guys. I hope you guys like this video. If it's something that you like, let me know if it's more of what you wanna see. Um, but that's it for today, guys. Uh, and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh. Just when I thought I was doing well. <laughs> my heart's just gone out of my chest. God damn it. I can't believe you got that. I got that on tape. <laughs> I knew. I'm so glad I moved my Louis Vuitton. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, I need to clean this up. So <laughs> BRB. All right, guys, well, I'm glad you guys saw me spill that. I've cleaned it up. There's no stains or anything, but I told you I am clumsy and I knew something like that was going to happen. But anyway, that's all for today, guys. I will see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.